I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stand strong. You are powerful. Stand strong. You are inspiring. We are fighters. We are ambitious. We are extraordinary. We are conquerors. Simply, Simply Straight, straight talk, talk, our, our voices, voices will be heard. heard. This is Simply Straight Talk. Yeah. Tune in now, you don't want to miss out. Real conversation, plenty motivation. Uh-huh. Keep you thinking, it's still entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll enjoy the Mido's Free. Your voice is your choice. Hosted by Reggie B, but you already know. And you gotta check them out and how we roll. Hey, ain't nothing off the table. Give it to you straight. Changing your mindset, talking past mistakes. You ain't gotta wait, time to take off. This is Simply Straight Talk. Welcome to the Simply Straight Talk podcast. I'm Melissa, a professional voiceover artist. If you're new to our podcast, we hope you find it motivational and fun because you're in the right place. We can't wait to share what we've learned about life with you. After all, you never know what Reggie's going to say. Stick around. The show is about to start. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. This is your host, Reggie. And man, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening, whether it be on YouTube, Apple, Spotify. Thank you so much. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So when you know when new podcast episodes are coming out, they drop every Friday. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Now, women, today's show is for women and men, but the title of the show is Women, This is Why Men Leave. Now, as you know, I do not like to do shows to where it's beating up on men or beating up on women. I like to just present some thoughts out there to make both sides think and kind of give an understanding. Now, I know somebody's probably saying, well, why isn't there a show about you know, men, this is why women leave. If I can get Angelique or Melissa to hop on, then we'll have that conversation. I'm not a woman, so I cannot speak for women, and I would never do that. That's why I got these two fantastic, beautiful black women who are always willing to help out, and I really love them. Shout out Angelique and Melissa. But for right now, as a man, I want to give you the male perspective of why some men leave relationships. It's not always because of infidelity. It's not always because they met some other woman. It's not because they're trying to get their groove back. And that's the common misconception. That's what everybody said. Well, why did he leave? Oh, he's a dog. Or he's lazy. He doesn't want to be a man. And it goes a whole lot deeper than that. Because there are good men who have walked away from relationships. And it's not because they didn't want to be a parent. Some They're still a parent. There are good men out there still active in their, ch- their child's lives. So it's not about that. I'm talking about the man and the woman. What makes this man say, I have to step away from this relationship? And I want to provide some of my personal opinions of why I feel that men are stepping away from relationships. Or why you may have a man and you want to like, why did he leave? And I'm going to share some examples with you. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on some of the reasons men leave. And why don't we kick this off right now by giving you the first one. My first one is men are looking for more than sex and looks. Every time I hear, you know, a conversation arise between men and women, the women always say the man wants sex. Or it's all about my looks. Well, here's the thing. Looks can fade. As you know, you get older. You see it right now. All of the women out here putting Botox and all this stuff all in their body. Plucking up them lips. Trying to look like the Kardashians. I don't know why anybody want to look like the Kardashians. Oh, my God. Have y'all seen Kim Kardashian cry? That is the ugliest thing in the world. Oh, my God. When she cries, I'm like, stop it. Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. (laughs) <laughs> I'm talking about her crying is ugly. I'm not a fan of Kardashians anyway, so I, they're not attracted to me at all. But anyway, back to what we're talking about. Shit. Okay. 
Men are looking for more than sex and looks. And I think the misconception is that anytime a man engages with a woman, there are some women, not all, some women who feel like if they put some good sex on that man and they look good, then he's going to be happy and he's going to give them what they want. And that's going to be the premise of the relationship. Good sex and looks. And that it can, it, I just can't tell you how wrong you are because it's not like you're the only woman in the world who can have, who can put out some good sex and got good looks. There are plenty of beautiful women in this world. There's plenty of sex in different places. Men today are looking for more. And I think when I talked last week, about the whole thing about men now asking women, what are you bringing to this relationship and how women are kind of get some women are kind of getting offended by that. That's because things have changed as women have decided they're going to be more modern. There are things that have changed about women. And I think women have to realize that men have changed. Also the mindset of men have changed. And I think a lot of that is due to the fact that, Men have men are now taking a step back and they're seeing things that happen to other men. Believe it or not, there are plenty of men who have been hurt. Good men who have been hurt. There have there are men who have been paying child support for children that are not theirs. There are men who have gotten divorced, taking care of a wife. She cheated. They go to divorce court and she ends up getting millions of dollars or half of his paycheck. And he's struggling and she's living high on the hall. And I think women, some women just don't see this and they think that looks and sex is going to get it. And men are now looking for more. They're looking for women that have ambition. They're looking for women that have goals. They're looking for women, women that have clear values and standards. You know, men are not settling anymore just on looks and sex. They want more. Now, I'm not saying that there are not men out there who won't, you know, partake of that if the woman offers it. But the thing about it is, is that man really looking for a relationship if that's all that's being brought to the table? How long can you say that me bringing me to the table or me being in a relationship is the sole basis that you should want to stay in this relationship? Because of my looks and my sex and my body, you got me. That's, that's everything you need. And the truth is that's not going to keep anybody, even a woman who met a guy who she thought was very good looking and gave her good sex at a certain point, she's going to want more. And we are now running into a new mindset of men to where sex and looks is just not going to hold a man anymore. It's not. Men want more and we're going to get into some of those things more, but I just want you to know that sex and looks is not going to do it anymore. Men are looking for things, something that's more in depth. They're looking for something that's more connected than just sex and looks. Like I said, ambition goals. They're looking for more intellectual things, more cultural things. Men are looking for women that actually, as a lot of women don't like to hear, but bringing more to the tables than look and sex. So women kind of have to reevaluate that mindset that, you know, all men are not looking for sex and your looks is not going to win a man over to where he wants to make you the one. If you want to be that person that a guy just dates, but not really serious about, then keep relying on your looks and sex. But if you want to be the one that that man is going to say, you know what? I got to wife her. This, this is it. This is, I don't, I don't want anybody else. You have to bring stimulating conversation. You have to be able to have intellectual conversation, not saying you got to be a rocket scientist, but you have to be able to engage in conversation that stimulates his mind. You want your mind stimulated. You want a man that can talk to you on different levels, on different things from society to cultural, to economics, to political things. You want somebody that's going to challenge you mentally. Women, you now have to do the same thing. Men are requiring more in that aspect. So sex and looks is not going to hold a man. If that's all you're bringing, you're going to find that he's going to walk away. True story. True story. Way back, way back. 
But I remember one time I went to the strip club with a friend and the stripper was talking to my friend and she literally dropped her head on the table on her arm and started crying. We looked at each other like, what the hell is this? He was talking to her and we're sitting at the table and she just started to say that I had a, you know, my husband is walking away from the marriage. We've been married for two years and he's leaving. And when he asked him like, what happened? She was like, I don't know. She said, I stopped stripping. I, I gave him sex whenever he wanted and I cooked. And he was like, well, you know, what did you do? Did you still working? No, I just stayed home. I gave him sex and cooked. She said, did he cheat? Like, no, he didn't cheat. He just, I don't know. He just bored with me. Of course. Ladies. We want the same thing you want. Women, you want a man that's going to stimulate your mind and make you think and, and, and help you and support you mentally. That gets that creativity going. Men want the same thing now. Your looks and body is not going to do it. And she was a beautiful woman. Okay, let me move on. Y'all going to take me back. Y'all going to take me back. Next up, his feelings are being dismissed. This is something that I know. Like I said, I'm speaking from my personal opinion, but I know a lot of men can agree with this. A lot of men struggle to talk to women, and women's biggest complaint is men don't know how to talk to us. They won't talk to us. And a lot of times it's because his feelings are being dismissed. You know, we got to get over this thing that men don't hurt. Because there's this whole thing of, you know, men don't feel, men don't love, men don't hurt. And the truth is, yes, men do. We hurt, we feel the same way you do. If a man break, if a woman breaks up with a man, he may not show it to you. He may play it off like he ain't hurt. But when he go home, or he may got one or two homies, they know, I'm about to say something, they know that brother hurt. You know, if a man loses a job, he's hurting. He may play strong. Yeah, I'm going to find something else. I ain't want to work there anyway. He's hurting. Women, men hurt too. So you can't dismiss their feelings the same way you don't want men to dismiss your feelings. And you got to understand there's a huge, huge lack of understanding regarding giving men emotional support because a man who needs emotional support is seen as weak. If you look out right now, there are tons, tons of resources for women to provide them with emotional support. What resource is there for men? Very few, if any, there are very few resources for men. So when men are struggling emotionally, it's hard for them. It's hard for them because they don't have an outlet. They don't have an outlet. And I'm going to get into that a little bit deeper here shortly. But men require emotional support the same as women. And I think a lot of people don't see the emotional aspect of men needing emotional support because it's categorized as he's weak. You know, and the worst thing is for a man to need emotional support and hear his wife or girlfriend go out and tell her friend, oh, I had to sit up all night and do this and, and, and try to make him feel better. And, oh, I had to baby him. How do you think that makes him feel? This is a man that's hurting. Men hurt more than what you think. Do you know how hard it is for a man to love his wife, love his kids, and to come home and see them doing without? Yes, I get it. I know women know that too. But you act like men don't. That hurts the hell out of a man to look his family in the face and say, I can't afford to buy this for you. I can't afford to get you that name brand bag. I can't afford to buy my wife pearls or fancy jewelry. When her friends or her co-workers have seemed to be just getting all this nice stuff. I can't buy my wife a 2022 car. So we got to keep driving this 2008 because I'm still trying to put food on the table, put roof over our head, and they could be doing it together. 
But you got to understand when a man is unable to provide, it hurts him when he cannot provide, especially to see his wife and his children without. That's tough. That is tough. You know, you, you got to understand that. And it just boggles my mind. Not all women out there. Some of y'all women, y'all get it. But there's a lot of women who don't understand that it hurts the hell out of a man when he cannot provide the way he feels he should for his family. And this is all totally being dismissed. You can't just say, oh, it's okay, I got it. Oh, well, don't worry about it. We ain't had it. We'll do without it. That's not solving the problem of what he's feeling about being a provider for his family. He's a man. He cares. He loves you. He loves his kids. He's hurting. Don't shut him down by simply saying, oh, well, it's all right. I guess we'll just do without. He's, you know what I'm saying? Probably don't. But it's the truth. Men, emotions are just as strong as women. Now, we may not display them the same, but those emotions are still there. That hurt or pain when something happens is still there. And you can't dismiss it. When you dismiss a man's feelings and emotions of what he's going through, don't get mad when he goes and sits somewhere or somebody on his job knows what's going on. He's told you that he's being picked on at his job. He's told you that he's struggling. He's told you that he's facing challenges from, you know, a manager or coworkers, and he's having a hard time. He's worried about losing his job because how he's going to take care of his family. When he comes home and talk to you, oh, just deal with it. Be a man. Stop coming in here all quiet. Stop coming in here acting like you don't want to talk to nobody. I'm tired of hearing about it. But you get upset when he gets to work and he's laughing, but he's not laughing at home because at home he sees you, he sees the kids. He's thinking about what's going on. He's thinking about what's to come if he lose that job. But that person at the job and she's there like, listen, you can do this. Okay, you can do this. Do this, do this, do this. You got that person that's encouraging him when at home where he should be getting encouraged, he's being emasculated. He's being marginalized. His feelings are being marginalized. You got to understand that a man has feelings and emotions and you have to know how to emotionally support him. That's not saying he's going to go cheap, but it's just saying that his mind would not be in that house. You understand what I'm saying? Because men and women can do it. You could be sitting on your couch, but your mind could be somewhere else. Yeah. Keep that man's mind at home by understanding how to emotionally support him. All right, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back because I got a lot of more. A lot of more. That's an old Mr. T talk. A lot of more. Hey, we're going to be right back with more of the Simply Straight Talk Show. We'll be back with your host, Reggie, on Simply Straight Talk. Hey, we all know that Atlanta, Georgia is a big city and sometimes you might need just a little bit of help. But you know what? That's why we have Legs Concierge Services. Are you looking for someone to help you with errands, event planning, dog walking, organizing, shopping, or maybe you're in need of a personal assistant? Then you need to contact Legs Concierge Services operating in Atlanta, Georgia. For more information on these and additional services, contact rarmstrong105 at gmail.com. That's R-A-R-M-S-T-R-O-N-G-105 at gmail.com. Remember, time is precious, so let Les Concierge Services help you enjoy it so much better. We hope you're enjoying the show. As our listeners, this show is made possible because of your support. Make sure you click the subscribe button and leave a comment. Thank you for being a part of the show. And now back to your host, Reggie Maddox.
Hey everybody, we're back for the second part of today's show. And today's topic is women. This is why men leave. Now we are talking about the reason men will step away from a relationship. And as I said in the beginning of the show, it's not always about infidelity. It's not always about trying to see because he's bored and want to go have sex with a many different women. Sometimes the man loves the woman. He loves the woman, but He's got to step away because he's not getting what he needs. We talked about, you know, in the first part of the show, let me refer back to my notes here because I got some other things. Uh, We talked about men are looking for more than sex and looks. We talked about how his feelings are being dismissed and a lack of understanding regarding men needing emotional support. And next up is you don't make him feel like a man. And here's the thing. Here is the thing thing women i want to share this with you now some women know this so this don't apply to all women when i say you don't make a man feel like a man i'm not talking about you out here on your knees bowing down to him that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about complimenting him and making him feel like he's your man like you do that other dude that you see when you go to the grocery store or on your job Showing that to the person you're supposed to be showing it to that's at home. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. And I know somebody right now is already out there saying, Well, if he was doing this or doing that. Well, if you was doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's a two-way street. Okay? Two-way street. Both sides got to do what they're supposed to do. But this one, we're talking about why men leave. And for some men, it's the fact that they see good things in the woman, but the woman doesn't make him feel like a man. And that's just being a good woman to him. And I'm not saying that you're out there cheating or you're out there trying to meet somebody else, but it's recognizing him as a man, not mean that you're being subservient. Like I said, you're you're not a slave. You know, you're not out here like a maid to him, but you make him feel like a man, like he's your man, not the world's man. You make him feel like he's your man. You know, one of the things is a big thing right now is this little thing going around, like women saying, I don't cook, you know, but that's your man. You cook, you know, just like this is my woman. If me and Regina Hall was a couple, she would never take out the trash. She would never cut the yard. Because I want to do that for her because I want to do that. Because I want her to feel like a woman. Women, don't y'all want to be made to feel like a woman? You want your man to compliment you, acknowledge you. When you go places, you don't want to see some other woman getting all the accolades and uh, credit and, you know, being all buttered up. That's supposed to be for you. So why can't it be the same for your man? You got to make your man feel like a man. You know, and T.D. Jakes gave a great example. He was like, he said, you know, when he comes out of the house, you come in, he's got two bags. Oh, man, baby, I'm so proud. Look, baby, look, you got two bags. My man's strong. He got two bags of groceries. He'll go back out to the car and try to carry six. The things you do, women, for your man, if you know how to compliment him, and recognize him as your man and acknowledge some of the things he do that are good, you'll be surprised how he will try to do more because that's how we're built. That's how real men are built. You know, the fact that your woman, now this is not any woman, but your woman acknowledges your presence and the things you do. You know, women, a lot of women say, well, men have forgotten how to do this and I get my hair changed and they don't really say nothing. Well, how often do you compliment him on his haircut? How often do you compliment him on his clothes? How often do you recognize and just acknowledge him? Acknowledge your man. So like a man should acknowledge his woman. It's those little things that you say to each other. And you should be saying these things before another woman out there on the street says it. Just like he should be saying these things to you before another man on the street says it. But what should really matter is he heard it from you. 
Your words, your opinion is what matters. Your words of encouragement are what lifts him. He needs to hear it from you. It makes a difference. Understand how to make your man feel like a man. You know, this whole thing about no women don't want to fix plates anymore. Fix your man a plate and put it in from him. Baby, you want something to drink? Da, 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 da. Do it. A real man would appreciate it. And you'll be surprised what he will, what he will reciprocate to you. I'm talking about real men, good men. With a good woman. Who's doing this not because she's expecting something. Because she acknowledges that this is the man that she wants to be in her life. And she recognizes that. Make your man feel like a man. Like I said, it's all about your words, your actions. I don't care if he's 300 pounds, 5'11". Baby, you look good in them boxes. You tell him that. And the same thing for a man. His woman come in. She might have a little bit hanging over the, the, the uh, you know, panties, the painting line. Baby, you looking good. You rocking them panties, baby. You know, he say the same thing to his woman. When you say things like that, you make that person feel like they're valued, like they're respected. You have to do the same thing to your man. You have to. Next up, he does not feel comfortable confiding in you. Ladies, 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 let me tell you something. One of the biggest signs that a man is truly into you. There's two that's really big. This is the second one. There's another one above this, but this is one of them. It's when he feels like he can confide in you. When a man can really confide in you about his day, when he can really confide in you about things going on with his friends, he's opening up to you. He's opening up. And you have to understand that makes a big difference when a man can confide in you. That that's that's saying when he's comfortable confiding in you, not to mention the first one, when a man can truly open up to you about what he's feeling inside. Remember when I talked earlier about dismissing a man's feelings and emotions? This is another reason that some men will leave women because they are a man loves a woman that he can confide in. You call it your ride or die, whatever you call it. You can say, well, this is my best friend. Well, your best friend, you're supposed to be able to confide in and know that whatever you say to your best friend does not leave between them. And it's the same thing. Whatever you say, stays between you. And when that man knows that he has a woman that he can sit there and have pillow talk with and that pillow talk don't go nowhere, when that man knows that he can sit there and say, baby, I'm hurting right now. I'm hurting, baby. I'm kind of confused. I don't know what direction I'm going. You know, baby, you know, am I making, are you happy with me? And when he can drop questions like that on you and bring that to you, that man cares. He wants to be with you. But if a man cannot confide in you, you're not the one. You are not the one. I'm telling you that right now. That is a big checkoff on a man's list. That the woman he's rolling with, he can confide in her. And normally when a man walks away from a a good woman, a woman that he can confide in, that's one he wishes he always had back. But keep in mind, like I say, this is the reason men leave. Because a normal when a man walks away from something like that, he didn't know what he had. And there was some other, there could be some other issues too, you know what I'm saying? But a man wants somebody that he can confide in. He wants somebody that he can trust. And as a, a good man is not gonna walk away from a woman like that. It's those men that's confused and young. Those are the ones that walk away, then try to go back. But a good man knows that when he finds a woman he can confide in, that's it. 
That's it. That's what he wants. That's what he's looking for. But if he can't confide in her because she goes back and tell everything or she starts cracking jokes on him or using that stuff against him, that's a problem. A man loves a woman he can confide in. Be sure your man can confide in you. If he can confide in you, he's fully opened up to you. That's when he's in love and he ain't going nowhere. Next, simple things become complicated. We always hear that women are complicated. And then we hear that men are complicated. And I think sometimes women, you just got to take what your man say at face value. If you ask your man, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Because sometimes men need to be able to process things. Some men, they need to be able to process it. And sometimes when a man comes home, he don't want to jump into the bills. Sometimes a man needs to be able to process things. If you say, well, what do you want to eat? Oh, baby, you know, whatever you fix. Oh, you need to tell me what you want because I don't want to be fixing stuff and you get here and don't want to, you know, you don't need to do all that. Sometimes a man would just say, hey, baby, I'm good, whatever you cook. Don't overcomplicate things with men. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't try to look in too deep into it. If a man feels like Anytime something becomes so complicated in a relationship and it starts to affect the conversation, he's going to want to walk away because he's going to, number one, feel like he can't confide in you. He's going to feel like he can't talk to you. Don't want to ask you nothing because it's going to be overcomplicated or just start telling you anything. Oh, what you want to eat tonight? Chicken. You had chicken last night. Okay. Uh, turkey. Just start rattling off stuff because he knows it's going to turn into something overly complicated. Keep it simple. And it's not that that person is not intellectual. You got to think about it. Sometimes a man is just happy coming home. He's just happy to be home. He got this good woman. He appreciates the fact that she wants to cook or fix something for him, which is sort of rare these days. But when he got a good woman that does that, he's okay. He's okay with whatever she puts up. So he's okay with that. So that's why don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to make it, you know, simple things. Don't overcomplicate it. A man loves a simple situation. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Simple things becoming complicated will make a man walk away. Next up. Oh my God. And this one, your expectations are based on fantasy. And I see this a lot in relationships today. And this is not all women, but whenever a man gets involved in a relationship with a woman and she's speaking based on fantasy, it becomes a real problem because the things she's thinking and warning are unrealistic. She basically wants a Disney movie type relationship where you got the drama, then all the fantasy stuff at the end, the limousine drives in, flowers fall from the sky, liquid gold rises from the street, and all of a sudden they're walking down this field of flowers made of Gucci bags with a Lamborghini water hose. You know, you, I, I, it's just that some people have this expectation of what a person should say, what they should do. And I've experienced that where you, you're out with somebody and they really do feel like, oh, you should have said it like this, or I thought you was going to say that, or I thought you was going to do this. And it takes the whole date or the whole situation for a turn. Because they pictured in their mind everything because they got this fantasy idea of how every date should be. What you should bring to the door. What you should say. What you should do. 
how you should get in the car, what songs you should play, what music you should play, what conversations you should have, what restaurant you should go to. The violin person is supposed to come and play, and then they're supposed to bring out this expensive bottle of wine, and then the piano is supposed to play, and then they're supposed to say their name. You know, it's just whole, you know, basically this fantasy of what their, their idea of the perfect relationship. And when it doesn't go that way, it turns the man off because the woman also is turned off. Now he feels judged. He feels like, what am I doing? I thought I was being nice. I bought you some roses. No, 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 no. You should have brought lipstick roses. Okay. Well, I brought you a dozen. Well, it should have been two dozen because in the movie that I saw, they had two dozen or you should have did, you know, it's this whole thing. So you got to make sure that you're not creating a fantasy of expectations and wanting him to live up to it based on what you see on reality TV or what you see in these movies or what you see on social media from these people with these fake, you know, basically fake lives, making it seem like they got all this going on. So if your expectations are based on fantasy, you may find that the man you with may eventually leave. Next up, when she has confusing values. Now, this is something that we're seeing a lot of right now. Because we have a lot of women, okay, a lot of women who want a traditional man, but they're trying to keep their modern day values and it clash. Because sometimes there's a traditional woman, sometimes there's a modern woman, and the woman doesn't really know who she is. The man is trying to figure out who she is because her values are not always in line. He can't always figure out what she wants or what she is, what is she trying to do? Because she wants these things like a traditional woman, but she don't want to do the thing traditional woman does. She don't want to cook. She don't want to clean. She's an independent woman and she can do her own. She can buy her own. I don't need a man to buy me nothing. I can buy my own, pay for my own meals. I can open my own car door. I have my own job. I make my own money. So when they go out, why aren't you paying? Well, why aren't you opening my car door? You want me to cook? I'm not cooking for you. It's so freaking confusing. <laughs> are you a modern woman that wants independence and equality? Or are you a traditional woman that wants traditional values? What do you want? Because we can have the equality. That's fine. But what are, are you a traditional woman with traditional values? Do you want me to pay? Do I not pay? If I pay, you get mad. If I don't pay, you get mad. What do you want me to do? H how are we supposed to handle this? And I think that's confusing to a lot of men. Because now it's like, I can't be a man. Because for a man, it's a good man is proud to open a car door. He's proud to be a gentleman. He wants, that's, that's that pedestal that you're supposed to be on. That this man does certain things for you. But if he can't figure you out because you haven't figured out the type of woman you are, how is he supposed to be able to make you feel like the woman that you are? When you don't even know the type of woman you are. Yeah. All right, y'all, we're going to take a break. <laughs> I'm going all day with this. But we got one more my add to the list. And this last one I think is really important. So I really want everybody to hang around. We'll be right back with the next final thoughts and one more on the Simply Straight Talk show. Hey, Simply Straight Talk family. Your host, Reggie, will be right back. So don't you dare touch that dial. Hey, are you looking for some great music, upbeat and with a positive voice? Well, the song I Stand With You is exactly what you need. This timeless song has a pop version sung by Audrey Carmel. And a reggae version sung by General Steele, now known as Revelation. Now I know some days you may feel blue, Lord. Trust in your greatness to see you through. These songs are now available on iTunes and other digital platforms for download. Don't miss out. Get your copy today. Give life your best and I know. 
We're back with the conversation starter and the voice that works harder. Your host, Reggie. What's up, Simply Straight Talk listeners? Man, today we're talking about women. This is why men lead. That is the topic of today's show. And let me tell you something. I got one more, one more I got to throw out at you. And that is men will lead if, it is, if there is not a lack of balance between responsibilities and peace in the home. They will leave. They will leave because the worst thing is to go out into the world and deal with all of the bullshit, all of the drama, and then come home and have to deal with more bullshit and more drama. So it's important that a man and woman understand how to maintain peace in the home. And I kind of hinted earlier on the fact that Anytime somebody comes home, greeting them at the door, talking about bills, greeting them at the door, complaining, it's not going to make somebody want to come home. It's going to make a person take the long way home or stay at work more. <coughs> and I think it's important that, you know, you got to understand, like I said, I know this episode, we are talking about reasons why men will leave. I think this is a big reason that a lot of men may hang out with their friends more or they may stay out is because when they come home, nothing about the home life is an indication or gives them any peace because when they come home, they're arguing with their girlfriend. They're arguing with their wife. It's about bills. The roof needs to be fixed. The sink needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. You know, especially if you got a good man out here, he's working two jobs or he's doing overtime to help bring money in and instead of coming home and, and being appreciated for going the extra mile to trying to get the funds or the resources necessary to make the repairs or get things needed for the home, all you're hearing is, we need more. Get that so we can get more. Get that so we can get more. So there has to be a balance. It's important that whenever a person comes home, and this can go for men or women, all this can apply for men and women, but I'm talking about men right now. As a man, I'm speaking from a male perspective. When I'm out here in the world dealing with all of the drama, all of the hate, all of the things that's going on, when I come home, I want to come home and know that this is a place that's welcoming to me. This is a place that's happy to see me to where I can just take off my shoes. I can just relax. If I got a good woman, I want to kiss her on the cheek. I want to hug her. Even if we don't talk for the first 15 minutes and all we do is just stand at the door and hug. That is such a big difference, such a big difference than coming to a home to where I know I'm about to get bombarded with problems. She's unhappy. She's complaining. The neighbor got this or she wants to go on this trip or go on that trip, but can't because we don't have, you know, it's like when you're coming home to that, it makes you not want to come home. It would make anybody not want to come home, male or female. Because nobody wants to come to a place that you're paying rent and you're laying your head every night and you can't even get what's in the outside world off your mind because you're being bombarded what's going on in the home because there's no peace. So there has to be a balance of peace and responsibilities in the home. Sometimes you got to let a person come home and not hit them with all the problems or how unhappy you are or complaining. Sometimes you just got to let a person come home and just let home be home. Home is the one place in this world that you should always want to go to. That is supposed to be your isolation chamber that is safe and secure from what's going on in the rest of the world where your mind can just let down its guard and just relax. Where you can look in her eyes, she can look in your eyes and you guys can just be comfortable. Even if, you're reading the book and she's got on headphones listening to music. The fact that you're in each other's presence, you can look up from that book and look at her and say, this is why I'm home. That's how it's supposed to be. And ladies, you can help a man to feel that way by the way you create the home environment. I'm a firm believer. The woman sets the tone for the home. She does. I'm a firm believer in that. But the man also plays a part in that in regards to how she sees the home. Like we talk about, the, 
it's a two perfect. No, I don't know. I was gonna sing a song for y'all. It's called Two Way Street. Uh, that's not a good song at all. But anyway, <laughs> but listen, I just want to say that when we dealing with men and women, we're dealing with relationships. You know, there are things that will make a person walk away from a relationship. And I hope some of the things that I discussed in this podcast today kind of hit something about you to make you think about how you can make your relationship better, how you can be a better wife or a better husband, a better boyfriend, or a better girlfriend. Because these are things, they're small things, but they're often the things that we don't focus on because we can become so entangled in money and finances and bills and careers and family and kids that we lose track of each other. So that's why it's important that we have to understand these things. And you'll be surprised what can happen if you implement these things into your relationship. So women, I just wanted to share this with you and hope this helps you in understanding that these are some things maybe you can do to help you maintain your relationship with your partner. And we will do one for the women regarding for the men about why women leave. We're going to do that one. So I'm going to get, I'm going to see if I can get the ladies and get them involved in that. But just think about it. Just think about how your words and your actions can impact your relationship with your husband, with your boyfriend, why they may feel the way they feel, act the way they act. Because sometimes we can't put it all on them. Sometimes we got to be accountable for our behaviors and our actions that make our partners act a certain way. And women, a lot of men have been dehumanized. They've taken away the fact that we are humans, that we do have emotions, that we do hurt, that we do feel when our family goes without, when we watch our wife struggling, we watch our kids struggling. As men, as men, we love and care just as much as you do. We have emotional needs just like you do. So men and women have to learn how to emotionally support each other in a relationship, not be dismissive of each other's ideas, feelings. These are the things that matters. Make sure you understand your values. Don't overcomplicate things. This is some of the stuff that we talked about. So if you're catching the end of this podcast, go back and look into looks, listen to the whole thing. And remember, sex and looks is not going to keep a relationship. Like I told y'all in the first part of the show, men are looking for things much more deeper now. So sex and looks is not going to do it. It's not going to do it. But hey, thank you guys for checking out the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Men, hit me up, brothers. Let me know. What do you think, guys? Is there anything I left off as to why a man would leave a relationship? Women, what do you think about some of the things I said? Share your feedback. I want to hear from the women. I want to hear from the men. Tell me what everybody thinks. Tell me what you think about these things. All right? I will see you next Friday. Thank you for tuning in. We're out. It has been wonderful sharing this conversation with you here on the Simply Straight Talk podcast. If you have feedback on today's episode, DM us on Instagram at Reggie underscore BM11 or email speak at simplystraighttalk.com. We'd love to hear from you. Join us again next Friday for more solution-based conversation and tips for how to deal with the challenges of life. Thanks for listening. Simply Straight Talk with your host, Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, all right here. Oh, Simply Straight, Simply Straight Talk.